Well, my experience with ED started about when I was 45 years old. It came on to me, it was very suddenly. Uh, it uh, was a surprise, actually, because I had been very active sexually with my wife uh, since uh, we were married some 25 years before. So it was a huge surprise. It was something that I didn't know how to deal with. He did a complete workup as far as, you know, asked me all the questions and he did some examinations and so forth. And he said, you know, I think what we have here is something that is not your fault. It's not really anything you could do about it. It's a physical condition called venous leakage. He said, it doesn't matter really how much blood that goes in, it's going to come out. It doesn't matter what you use. You can pump all the blood you want to in it, it's going to come out because it won't shut off. He said, and I said, well, how hard is that to fix? He said, well, basically there is no surgery for that. I ran out of hope after I had the experience with the Mayo clinics uh, and the options that they had provided was some I had not tried before. And so they, I was very optimistic. And uh, unfortunately, because I have a physical condition that inhibits an erection, uh, those things would not work. And uh, so once they did not work, I felt like I was out of options. I really did. I, f I felt very discouraged and felt like, well, we'll just have to continue down the same pathway that we're on now, which is nothing. That was the, the point where uh, I thought that any kind of sexual activity for me was over with. I resigned myself to that fact. I said, well, maybe, you know, I'm 58 years old. Maybe it's, it's, maybe it's time to give it up. You know, it's just not going to happen.